Alright guys, my apologies for the delay is something between General Flynn and the courts uh, and that's something for them to determine what that timeline looks like. In the meantime, we wish General Flynn well and we'll continue to focus on uh, doing what we do here every single day. And what position now or would you like to revisit your comments earlier today that uh, the FBI ambushed Flynn here? No. Um, I, we still firmly believe, look, the things that may have taken place, again, that's for the judge to make that determination uh, whether he engaged in something inappropriate. What we do know that was inappropriate by own self-admittance of James Comey is that the FBI broke standard protocol in the way that they came in and ambushed General Flynn and in the way that they questioned him and in the way that they encouraged him not to have White House counsel's office present. And we know that because James Comey told us that and he said that the very reason that they did it was because the only reason that they did it, it was the Trump administration and they thought they could get away with it. Uh, those are facts and certainly um, there may be other issues there, but that we don't uh, have any reason to want to walk that back. He has cooperated with the special counsel's office and met with him 19 times. Is there a particular reason why the president has not said that he is a rat the way that he has said that Michael Cohen is a rat? Look, look, we know Michael Cohen to uh, be a liar on a number of fronts, and um, the president's opinion is extremely clear on that front. I don't see any reason to uh, go beyond that comment at this point. Michael Flynn today tweeted that he did lie to the FBI and to the repeatedly and that he was working for a foreign government uh, during the campaign. Does that concern the president? I mean, he seems to be concerned that Michael Cohen is a liar. Does he concern that? One of his top aides lied to the FBI and was working for a foreign government? Uh, not when it comes to things that have anything to do with the president. Uh, the activities that he has said to, and I'll, again, we'll let the court make that determination, to have engaged in don't have anything to do with the president. Let's remember what uh, the whole thing that this started is supposed to be about. It's whether or not Russia influenced the election and whether or not the president had anything to do with it. We know that the that Russia tried to create chaos within the election, but certainly not that they actually impacted it. The only reason that the president is the president is because he was a better candidate and beat Hillary Clinton. We also know that the president never colluded with Russia. So that's the whole reason that we have this, and we know those things to be false. Is the president concerned that Michael Flynn lied to representative of his own government and was working for another government during the campaign? Does that, is that concerning or not? Look, there's certainly concern, but that's something for the court to make that determination, and we'll let them do that. He's making positive comments about him when he's pleaded to this. Uh, again, we're going to let the court play that out, and they'll make a determination on whether or not he engaged in something well, right or wrong. Why is the president making positive comments about him, given these things that he's quite, quite guilty to? It's perfectly acceptable for the president to make a positive comment about somebody while we wait to see what the court's determination is. So is the White House at this point that Michael Flynn is a liar? Because that's also the reason that he was fired. He was fired we're, we're disputing that any actions he engaged in had nothing to do with the president. That Just because it, maybe he did do those things, but that doesn't have anything to do with the president directly. Okay.